we was getting ready for my second album, album because mm-hmm. because L.A. Reid told Jeezy they dropped the ball. I don't want to hear nothing else but a Blood Raw album. So my budget was open for my second project, mm. but he was the only one that didn't sign off. Jeezy was. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So uh, so that so, was our opener, wasn't it? Yeah. So Joe Barino, L.A. Reid signed off. He was the only signature that didn't sign off. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gon' talk. You know what I'm saying? So, I I go through that part. Then come to find out, they take my video, and they say is that Louis Vuitton have a problem, so they got a BT won't play it. You know what I'm saying? Because of the Louis Vuitton. Now I done seen Rick Ross, Ghostface, Killer. All these boys have Gucci and Louis and all in their video. You feel me? So that's the story that they tell me, right? So keep in mind my album about to drop. I don't have no video on TV or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they we agreed to do the record I had with Manny Fresh called Almost There. That was gonna be the second single. We're gonna shoot a video for it real Almost fast. Almost there. And pull it out. The home. I mean, and put it out. Well, that never happened. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my album come out. The week of my album coming out, well, the day of my album coming out, one of my friends called me in Florida. He like, bro, I'm I'm in Walmart trying to get it. Don't see it. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So my sister called. She like, I'm trying to, I'm in Walmart. I don't see the album. Like, what's going on? So all these questions, I'm like, I don't got no answers. This is my first time doing this. Like, I don't know. So I call him on the phone. I'm like, bro, what's good? You call Jeezy. Yeah. He like, he like, he like, what's good, man? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, let me back it up first about the record he leaked. I mean, the record put on for, for my city. He told me that Kanye West them released re- re- the record. You know what I'm saying? He like, I know how you feel, you know what I'm saying? I felt like that when Jay-Z them did that to me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, it's all good, bro. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, cause I'm hustling. You feel me? So my album come out, I call him on the phone. So I'm telling him like, bro, like, um, you know, people calling me, they like the album in Walmart. He like, man, you like you for real? I'm like, let me hit he like, let me hit you back. So I'm like, cool. So I'm at DTLR doing my in-store. Mm-hmm. And um, he called me back. He like, bro, he like, man. He like, bro, like, man, don't be mad, man, but Kink didn't print up a clean version. He like, this some bullshit. He always tried to blame it on Kink, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I, so here I am. You know how important having a clean version of your album at this time because <coughs> DJs are not going to play it unless you have right, a, clean a, clear, a clean version. Right. Especially radio DJs, they're not, they're not cleaning nothing. They're going to get the album, the clean version album, and that's how they're going to play it. Exactly. So you handicapped me right there off rip. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't believe it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm in tears, bro. Did you I call King? No, I ain't called King at this time because you feel me? Like, me and King relationship then was cool. But like I said, me and Jesus was more like brothers. Like, yeah. you feel me? So so you, in your heart, still didn't feel like he might have did anything to sabotage your situation? I feel it, but I don't want to believe it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I feel it, but I don't want to believe it. It's like with, with your brother or some one of your homeboys, bro. You don't you don't want to look at nobody like that. No. Like ain't no way he could do this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's ri- like something else got to be going on. You feel me? So long story short, Damn. you know what I'm saying? I'm steady grinding. You know, at this time, I'm paying for magazine covers out my pocket. You feel me? I got my own publicist. You know what I'm saying? Kim Ellis. Shout out to Kim Ellis. But you got the deal still. But oh, you, yeah, I got the deal, but I'm still doing things on my on own because own. I know that I'm being handicapped, so I got to still right, try to get through. Right. Yeah. Trying to make it through. You know trying what I'm saying? It. Yeah, you feel me? And, um, you know, by God's grace, I still was able to have a number five album on Billboard. Mm. But just think if I had, I had the, the, support, the support, the real support of what I supposed to have. The right infrastructure. You know number what I'm saying? One. Um, so long story short, I got through that. You know did what I'm saying? Did you ever address it with Jeezy? Yeah, I addressed it. I addressed when it. When did that happen? Um, How long after it, that? After, after, okay, so keep in mind. Now, th- y'all, this be, this here is when your album debut, and this is your everything. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you you go through all of this, and yeah. you know already these, this, these things have held you back. Yeah. And you finally got a chance. This after y'all done did all the partying, hanging out, yeah. y'all kicking it. We used to live together, bro. 
Damn, y'all stayed together? Yeah. We had a we had a spot called the Thug Mansion, like big, big crib. You feel me? And this was before that or after that? This was be- this was before that, like during this whole time. You know but what I'm saying? Was well, after, 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 when my album came out, I, I, I went and, you know what I'm saying, and moved to my own crib. You feel me? But did you ask, when you asked him about it, let's get to that part. Okay, so I asked him about it. My second, okay, so my. A second time? No. We was getting ready for my second album, album because, mm-hmm. because L.A. Reid told Jeezy, they dropped the ball. I don't want to hear nothing else but a Blood Raw album. So my budget was open for my second project, mm. but he was the only one didn't sign off. Jeezy was. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So uh, so that so, was eye opener, wasn't it? Yeah. So Joe Barino, L.A. Reid signed off. He was the only signature that didn't sign off. You feel me? And he has to sign off. Yeah, he has to sign off. He got eighteen months to sign off for, to put to put out an album or release me. Why do you think he didn't sign off? I have no idea. Did bro. you ask him? Well, we had this conversation of you know what I'm saying. Him never supporting me, never been to my show. We met at we met at Gladys Night Chicken and Waffle, right? right? Oh yeah, I've been there. So we met we met we met there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we sat down. I told him everything that was going on. You feel me? Like how I feel or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I never looked at it like that way, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like we gonna get this shit together. You feel me? Like look me in my eyes. Like we gonna get this shit together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he gave me his new number or whatever. You feel me? Gave me a hug. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, when you get back to Florida, send me a record. I'm going to jump on it so we could put it out to let people know, like, we good. You feel me? But at this point, he still didn't sign and you knew that he didn't sign? No. No, no, no. At this point, he didn't. It no, wasn't this, his, this, was didn't before, this, was this was before. This was before. This was before all of that. Before the second, before the second, the second budget. Okay, yeah. okay. So before you didn't the, know all of that. Right, yet. yeah. Okay. This is when I had done just left. Like, you feel me? Like, right. I'm, I ain't you talking to nobody. You frustrated. Yeah, I ain't talking to nobody. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he called me, we sat down, whatever, and I told him. So when I get back to Florida, get ready to send him the record, I, I call him to try to tell him that I sent the record, right? And his number off. Like, it's been changed, you feel me? Like, Damn. <laughs> and that was it supposedly yeah. be the new number he had given you. Yeah, Got yeah. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you feel like he changed his number so he wouldn't have to deal with it? I mean... That's, That's the you, only you, conclusion. At some point, you got to start saying, okay, this happened, and it, it, two plus two equals four. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.